Welcome everyone. I'm Carmen Rogers with Tallapoosa Publishers. I'm here with Mayor jo Johnny Hammock at City Hall. It's Monday, June the 17th, and this is Monday with the Mayor. And we're going to go over the council meeting, the June the 11th council meeting that was last Tuesday. We do not have a council meeting this week, but we will next week. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, the, we'll go ahead and go straight to the hot topic, which okay. was basically uh, Daryl Wilson, Councilman Wilson, made a rec recommendation that the um, funds from the half cent sales tax that's going to the Board of Education be transferred to the Recreation Department for some much needed recreational facilities. Is that right? Yes, uh, basically he, um, he asked, uh, since the city council has, first he asked, you know, what was going on with the Board of Education, um, when the last time we uh, met with them, and I told him that uh, February the 28th was the last time that Bill Godwin and myself and the city attorney met with the two lawyers from the Board of Education, Wade Shipman, Ruth Ann McKegg, and Don Bryant. Mm -hmm. um, since we, we told them, you know, we needed a scope of work and a timeline, you know, what they were planning to do uh, to address the security issues at the campus. Um, and we just wanted a scope of work and a timeline and basically how it was gonna get paid for it. They wanted us to finance it through a bond through the city, then you know, might need to redirect that one cent sales tax to us, let us pay the payment and then give them whatever's left over. Um, since that time, our city attorney has reached out to them multiple times and we have not heard any response back. So I really don't know what's going on. Um, I mean, basically, Darrell Wilson brought up uh, after that, you know, while they're getting their plans together um, because it's been a year now that this tax pretty much, it, the, the sales tax started July the 1st, so it's been dropping in that account since August. So it's been dropping for 10 months and it's already got $325,000 in it. Basically, he was wanting to know while they're getting all their plans together and stuff like that, redirecting that money to the rec department for a new swimming pool, splash pad, fix the building where the swimming pool is, the roof and stuff like that, make some repairs to the bathrooms, and also uh, build a soccer field, uh, which I'm pretty sure I could get a grant to pay for half of that um, mm -hmm. on the soccer field part, not for the swimming pool. So basically, all the work he's wanting to do is $1.2 million. He's wanting to kind of change directions with that money to the to the rec department so we can do that because the kids on the the high school swim team can use it, the youth swim team, the community can use the swimming pool, um, and also we have soccer players playing on the high school football field, and we have our rec league, which is 140 kids in the rec league playing in the outfield of the girls' softball field. So he, he, he threw that out there, and it looked like he was getting some support, you know, um, and I don't think it's a, a shot at the Board of Education, you know, Sometimes big projects like that, when you're having to deal with uh, seven members on the board, uh, all get on the same page and planning and stuff, sometimes it takes time. So I'll let him know the money that has dropped in that account. That's what the ordinance says. You, mm -hmm. you can't t touch that money. That's for the Board of Education. So the only way to do that, you'd have to amend that ordinance to shift that money to something else. And then, you know, but that money that's dropping right there until that's done, that's the Board of Education's money. So right. I'll, I'll let him know, and uh, the city attorney concurred with me on that. So that's, that's what we talked about. And um, the possibility of a new swimming pool, that's exciting to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, our current pool was built in 1954. That's correct. And from what I understand, a lot of the, um, the troubles come from the inability to hold swim meets. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a lot, there's a lot of talk about that, that that mm -hmm. will draw, you know, revenue into the city people coming to watch mm -hmm. the swim meets yeah. and, and so forth and so on. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's, uh, and, and the, the community could use it. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of needs in our community. We need a new, we need better rec facilities, a new school, uh, infrastructure. It's in terrible shape. We're making strides everyday planning and doing work on that. A lot of people can't see that kind of work, but we are. And um, basically, I think 
the concerns with the council is, here it is in a nutshell, um, we have so many needs in the city, I think they got a little heartburn with tax dollars that people pay sitting in an account just accumulating with no, nothing being done. Uh, you know, uh, I know the school board is required to keep a certain amount of reserve. I think it might be around $2.1 million. Mm -hmm. They got, you know, at one time they had around seven. I think it's less than that now, but I think they got somewhere between six and seven million. Um, I, I think, uh, I think some people in this town uh, have expressed their concerns to their council members about the sales tax just building up and, and not seeing anything come to fruition. So, you know, basically it's like, hey, while y'all are figuring out what you're gonna do, you know, let's go ahead and address some of these concerns in the meantime, and then for three years is what he said, you know, that would pretty much get us taken care of our rec department. And then hopefully at the end of three years, y'all have everything lined up and ready to go and then we can turn that money back to you. That, that, that was kind of the conversation and, and just give you a summary of how it went down at the council meeting. So it's not, you're not necessarily going to take those funds away from the Board of Education. They're just going to be kind of rerouted until they have that final plan with the well, timeline. I mean, uh, it's not, possibly, this wasn't possibly. even on the agenda. This was just in council reports. Daryl Wolfson brought it up and then I uh, think um, uh, Bill Godwin kind of spoke on it. I, right. I, I threw a few comments out there. So it's this is just something that's being tossed around at this time, uh, waiting to see what the Board of Education, is they gonna reach out to us and tell us where they are, what their scope of work and timeline is, or uh, we haven't heard anything from them yet, so. Since February. February 28th, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, so uh, to quote uh, Bill Godwin, it's time to fish or cut bait. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he said, fish or cut bait. <laughs> that's what he said. Bill Godwin said that. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That was a good one, I'm gonna have to steal that one. <laughs> hey, it was a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, let's see. We will, let's go over real quick the consider the, consider the request from Keith Tuck on behalf of the Tallahassee Community Outreach Program. Yeah. That is always a really good thing for the community. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I know a lot of those, well, a lot of the funding that he receives goes towards the Back to School Bash, mm -hmm. which uh, Sergeant Brian Clayton is in mm -hmm. charge of each year. And right now, if you want to go ahead and help with that, GKN is actually hosting a backpack drive. Wow. And you can drop off backpacks between, I think it was uh, 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. every day over at 11 Twin Oaks Drive. Yeah, wow. At GKN. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Keith does a great job with the kids in the outreach program. Uh, the Back to School Bash, he has a, a, a little cookout on the 4th of July uh, for them. Um, the whole community's in, invited. He's taking them on fishing trips, hiking trips, things like that. Keith's, uh, Keith's been doing this for a, a number of years and I really I really like what he's doing. Um, he likes to give back to his community and uh, good job, Keith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with the summer months, you know, kids used to be out of school for three months and now it's two months. Mm -hmm. And so they don't have a lot of time to collect those, those supplies like, mm -hmm. you know, they used to. So. Yeah. If it's on your mind, please reach out and uh, you can donate either at the 11 Twin Oaks Drive or you can probably just take it straight to the Tallahassee Police Department and drop it off there with Sergeant Clayton. Yep. And we're gonna wrap it up for this right. Monday. I appreciate it, Mayor Hammock. Thank you, All always right. a pleasure. Thank you. Y'all have a great day and join us again next week.